All right, YouTube, we're going back for the fourth, the third round of the Modern BTQ. I'm 2 0, beat Naya Titan Shift. And they were, they were playing Renegade Rallyers with their Blood Rail. It's kind of cool. Get back here, Steve. And then I played Mardu Pyromancer in, game one, in round one. So we're doing good. So a lot of people still in it. How many rounds are there? There's 333 people. 333 people. 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256. There's nine rounds. Gas. Nine rounds. Probably have to go like X and 1 to top 8. That's sweet. That is super. All right, focus time. Focus time. Okay. It's eight and one. Yeah, that's X one's tough. You did well, Johnny. All right, so we have a discard spell and a death shadow and a way to deal damage to ourselves. If I wish this was a shock land, but such is life. Uh oh. Come on, don't do it, dude. Come on. Nice. Okay, so one, two, three. We're gonna go get blood crypt. Because we have our island. We don't want to lose a red source. This is a terrible matchup, so. Alright, we're going to get rid of this burning inquiry. Next turn, one, two, three. We're going to play Tassiger. And hopefully we hit a fetch land. So they play Blood Crypt, Tapped, play Flame Blade Adept. Come on, fetch land. Alright, shoot. One, two, three, four, five. So I can just push it and play Angler, which is what we're going to do. Fetch line would have been gas, but what are you going to do? Mountain. So they drew that. So they have. This Phoenix is sweet, though, because this Phoenix is going to get our Death Shadow and play for sure. So they have Stomping Ground, and that's it. So I think I'm going to shock myself. I think I'm going to get aggressive. And then I might flash the Snapcaster Mage in. Actually, I'm definitely going to shock myself because I don't want my Death Shadow to get bolted. Then honestly, we're probably just flashing the Snapcaster Mage and getting on the beats. Because if I find a way to deal damage to myself, if you find a way to deal four points of damage, it would be tough. All right, that's good. So what do they get rid of? Okay, so they kept their stomping ground. You hit an angler, you bastard. I hate this matchup as well. I still think I'm flashing in my Snapcaster Mage. So my Snapcaster Mage isn't doing anything, so I'm just going to get this in play. And I'm like the Tasker is probably a better play than my... Okay, Stubbs, big draw. So I think I'm just attacking with both of these and playing my land. Then we're going to hold this back to block here. They would need two removal spells, and one of them is a stomping ground. They have a stomping ground already. <clears throat> so what do I die to? Because I'm probably... I, like The question with this attack is I think I'm going to stub the flashback on Faithless Looting. So if they go land... 
lightning bolt, then I die if I attack with both creatures. So maybe I just attack with one. They're de both of these are lethal next turn if they don't block. So I think we're just going to get in with both. Plus it also, like, if I get to stub something, then I can play Tassiger as well. This has to attack. Yeah, we trade we trade Nasties. I'm just going to play my land and pass. So now I feel much more comfortable stub. Like, my opponent's dead on the board unless they can produce a blocker. So I'm definitely going to Stubborn Denial this Flashback Faithless Looting. Bolt me. What could this be? I can block. So let this resolve. I go to four. I can block Bloodgast. They have Stomping Ground and one other card. They have Stomping Ground and one other card. What do I lose to? I have Bloodgast covered. I don't have a second Lightning Bolt covered by Stubborn Denial. This puts me to four. Flame Wake Phoenix kills me. So they have exactly Flame Wake Phoenix, and I have to stub this. They go Shock, Flame Wake Phoenix, then I die. I can deal. I think this beats everything. Goblin Lore, okay. So I hit the Stomping Ground. <clears throat> Fuck yeah, dude. Got game one in a bad matchup, which is gas. Alright, so I get this deck. I like Stubborn Denial and Battle Rage. I want these in here. I like cutting some of my Fatal Pushes. And then I will shave on a Snapcaster Mage. <clears throat> Because they have Leyline of the Void, which is, like, if my opponent Leyline of the Void's me, I'm in a lot of trouble. But I think I need my Delve cards to battle with their Delve cards. So i got to hope that they don't have Leyline of the Void. Leyline of the Veil is, like, meh. Like, I could bring in some number of these. Like, it feels so mopey bringing in Disdainful Stroke for just Delve cards. But, like, how am I winning? Lay on the Veil doesn't do anything. Because I got Blood Gast and Flame Wake Phoenix. I don't even want to board out my Street Wraith because I think I need to be fast and hope that they are, their fail rate happens. Yeah. I think these are just so situational and mopey. We're just going to send it. So that's the only way to, like, interact with goblin lore and stuff. But, like, it's... it's... What am I going to bring in, though, Rafi? Yeah, this is as good as we're going to get. Okay. All right, here we go. Deal with that. All right, so we're going to get Blood Crypt. All right. The problem is, like, this is the only card that pushes good against their deck, and I, I just—it's just rough. It's, it's rough, you know. Like, it's it's partially why this is such a shithole matchup. These Death Shadow decks. And I just, oh.
Okay, so I can go Nile Spellbomb, draw a card. Or I can go Thoughtseize. Yeah, but, but like, it's the hard part about playing Death Shadows. You actually need to, like, have enough damage done to you to do your game plan. Like, it's, it's just weird walking the tightrope, I think. I think I go Serum Visions and then play Spellbomb. We're just botting anything that's not a Death Shadow at this point. And we can get Nasty into play next turn. If we can get Gurmag Angler into play, Gurmag Angler is pretty solid on this battlefield. So my opponent's one card off of being able to play whatever the dumb thing is, Tassiger. So I take three. Play another Bloodgast, okay. Okay, so Fetch Land is card four. Nihil Spellbomb is card five, and I can tap out and play Angler. That's what we're doing, right? We're tap we're going here. So let me fetch first. I think we're gonna just fetch a basic. Probably a basic island. Yeah, in case you want to snap snap stub. I'm counting this right, right? This is five, yeah. And we don't get any value out of this, but it's it's at least like making it harder for them to delve. And I get another card out of this to dig me towards Death Shadow or Teamer Battle Rage. Okay, we're gonna hold that. Maybe I should have held that to hit a blood gas with. Now maybe I was too. I'm too stuck on making sure that I can. do that's rough. Okay, so I go down to five. Yeah, I think in hindsight I should have held my spell bomb and then just delved a little less for that. Okay, so now. Yeah, I I, I fucked up. Yeah, I fucked up. Let's do this now. Yeah, that was dumb. And then I like left myself. Yeah, that was dumb. Oh, that's so stupid. Now I need to go like Thought Scour into Death Shadow. Yeah, he just nugs me. All right, I'm not gonna show him what's in my hand. He probably knows, like he's he knows enough. Yeah, that was my miss. I like I should have. I think I should have just held the stub. Like I think I should have held the. I don't know. There's definitely different things I could have done in that game. So my removal's gonna be better on the play. My stubs are gonna be better on the play. Our whole deck's better on the play. So <clears throat> I could like shave a delve threat if I want another fatal push. My delve cards can win me games though. What do you edict? You're edicting blood gas, right, Johnny? Yeah, Veil vale seems like I think Veil vale would. I I, th I think I think that's. Uh, I'll I'll just disagree. Uh, I disagree. I think I'm gonna send it back the same way though. That's the frustrating part. Yeah, that's such the frustrating part with Radiant Flames or Anger of the Gods is like there are draws like that where it looks great, but if they'd have just gone Burning Inquiry into Triple Hollow on me or like Hollow on me, then the Radiant Flames is awful. Which is why this deck is good. This deck attacks so well on two different angles. Like I would play Hollow One if I could figure if I could like not be very. I, I played it and it's pretty frustrating to play with. I mean, in my experience, 
<laughs> well, then what are you doing, Johnny? You pushing? You pushing a blood gas? Like is that? Like you're? Is is that an avenue to victory? You know? Like if I get a tempo draw, then yes. If I if I can like get him going here, this hand's gas. I think I want to cycle on turn one. Let me think. Am I going to guarantee thought sees this turn or am I going to leave up stubborn denial? I definitely want to cycle. I think I want to cycle and leave up stubborn denial because the chance at double death shadow next turn is so good. So I think I can just play this and I can pass. I need to keep my hand intact. And this allows me to beat something like double goblin lore or double burning inquiry. I don't think I'm thought seizing a one. I think I'm gonna cycle and leave stubborn denial. Let me see what this card is. Okay, so now I can do 15, 13. I can do exactly 13 damage to myself this turn. The next land's pretty good. Thoughts these every time. Do they side out burning inquiry? So we hit a fetch land next turn, we're in good shape. We hit a fetch land next turn, we're probably going to win the game. All right. How greedy are we thinking we got to be here? So this is a turn one hollow one, so i got to take the faithless looting. Then they're going to be all goblin lore probably next turn, so we're going to take this looting. And then if I don't hit for a Death Shadow, I can at least stub the Goblin Lore. What is this? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Cycle, okay. Find a way to that. That's alright. So that Flame Blade is going to hit us. I'm still going to stub this Goblin Lore. I have to worry about this lightning bolt, but I think we're only going to need one shadow to win this game. They still can't angler me, which is good. Come on in, big boy. Alright, nice. Fetch land. Come on. Damn it. One, two, three. So if they tap out, I know three other four cards. Are they going to angler me? The problem is they can just stub and cast angler anyways. So I can thought scour, play death shadow. And then it gets bolted. And they play Gurmag angler. I can't really stop Garmag Angler anyways. I can stop Garmag Angler if I want two for one myself. I don't want a Thought Scour. Because we hit a Fetch Land. Still okay. I could just play two Death Shadows. But then my opponent bolts one and plays an Angler. So oh, sure of myself. That's not bad. That lets us hit. Oh, that's actually an insane draw. So we hit the Gurmag Angler. That was insane. That was like that was probably one. Now if they attack, then we're oh, our Death Shadows are larger than Lightning Bolts. That was huge. 
This is okay. So now they get in here for five. We go to seven. Okay, so they have to attack me down to eight. So now if I can find a fetch land, I'm in good shape. If I don't find a fetch land, then my opponent has to chump with their flame blade adept. Okay, that's good for the home team. Oh, that doesn't kill me. Okay, because I can double block the flame blade adept. Hollow one's gone. You find a fatal push? They found a fatal push. No. No. So now I play Death Shadow. And I stub the Lightning Bolt. And then what am I looking for? A Fatal Push that I don't have in my deck. It's basically, it pretty much cuts out all my outs because now the only red source I have deals me damage. And this Flame Wake Phoenix is going to kill me in the air. So, like, my out is my opponent loses, forgets how. Uh, What do you mean, let the bolt hit us? Yeah. Oh, that's sad. We were in it. Yeah, we had some big draws that put us in it, but I'm saying we could have died of great old days. The point oh one percent. I'm happy with how I played this game. It didn't work out, but We catch back up in the chat here. Oh, yeah, I mean, if we hit a. If we could get our shadows down a turn earlier. That is what it is, though. But I don't think I did anything wrong this game. I think I think not having Fatal Push in my deck when I have two Lightning Bolts, Terminates, and Colorgon's Command on the play is fine. Though, like, because that, and that's why this deck is good. Because you have cards that are very good against one half of their deck that are useless against the other half. And that's why this deck's impressive. Uh, excuse me, I think. Johnny, come on, dude. Like, yes, when everything lines up, the card is good. Like, I just I just talked about it. Maybe we're supposed to attack the shadows instead. I'll look at it after the match there. Freed me. Actually, I can't I can't look at it, replay it during the round, right? Do we have a shadow in play? I'm not sure. You can look back on the stream. I don't think I can look at it in between games.
Now, you think leaving this many stubs in on the draw or the play, Rafi? Because I can see on the play, on the, on the draw, yeah. Taking looting with Thoughtseize was a mistake. Why, Kawadev? What else do I take? Because if I don't take looting, they turn one hollow on me. If I don't, like, right, I mean, what could I, it was a thought seat, so I could have taken the, I could have taken the hollow one. So I take hollow one, and then I let, and you're saying you let them, you let them see three new cards on turn one. That's what you would have done? I then things get nasty, right? I'm saying, like, I, I think them seeing one card on turn one with one land and a hand that's shut off is the best way to hit that thought seize. I might do a draft in between rounds here. Looks like we're going to get done early. And a draft will be fun. I'm just going gonna, gonna to like a, I'm gonna draft a meme deck. All right, I'm going to see what their last card is in case I play against them. Because th this has to attack, so Moto's going to win no matter what. I'm going to see what their last card is. It's a black All right, It could have been something weird, and maybe I play this person, but like Moto doesn't even let them make the mistake. Almost didn't thought he's on turn one. Yeah. Okay, let's do a quick draft here. Let's do something fun. Let me shut this off here.